Thanks for talking me today. First of all, can I ask what your relationship to Sean is? Uh, well, I, I'm just a friend of his. I've known him with the same course that we're doing, a film. So uh, I just know him in the class, don't really know his full name. And the same question to yourself. Uh, I'm just his cousin. Cool. Just his cousin. Cool. Can I ask you both how you feel about Sean's addiction? I, it's heartbreaking. I mean, it's it's just heartbreaking for someone to be addicted to something and something so obscure as soap as well. It's just like, I have so many worries. But he's addicted. I thought there's just something wrong with him. <laughs> Why? What? what? Is it addicted to? That's not him. It's a problem. Okay. Is it a problem for the rest of the family? This is a joke to you, you know. You it's not a joke. No, I, I, I thought, you know, there's just something wrong with him. I thought you just like. How does the rest of the family feel about his addiction? We're in pieces, you know, like. It's disgusting. I think it's wrong. He's gonna hurt himself. He's eating soap. I see him every day with that same pink fucking bottle of soap, eating it in class, right, as if it's normal. Like, you look at people and you think they're okay, they're normal. There's, there's, some, there's something weird about them. Maybe they're normal, they're, they're not weird or whatever. But, like, it's just soap, right? He's eating it and he's just gonna hurt. <laughs> he's just gonna harm himself. If he keeps on doing it, it's going to backfire completely and it, you're going to suffer. All the friends and family are going to suffer. It's, it's just wrong and you should stop. Just. Have you ever tried eating soap yourself? Have you? Not personally. No, not. of course I haven't. But you can't knock it till you've tried it, perhaps. Good morning, Dr. Lux. Thank you very much for having me here today. Yeah. Can I just start with how long have you been working in the field of addiction? Oh, no, yeah, yeah. Oh, um. um five years. And can you. Define addiction. Can you say what addiction is? Yeah, yeah, I can, but I won't now. Yeah. Well, how do you know the difference between addiction and just liking something on regular use? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a good question. How? How do you do it? Yeah, yeah. How? How? Yeah. How uh, do you define it? Yeah, yeah. That's that's a good question, you know, and it deserves an answer. And you know, there's lots of answers to that particular um, question. Hi, my name is Jenny. I'm from PeculiarAddictions.com. I hope you don't mind me talking to you or asking you a few questions no, today. Go ahead. What is your name? Sean. And how old are you, Sean? I am 27. And from what I gather, you like to eat soaps and creams. What age did this start for you? I was, I think I was about 16, maybe. And how long has it been going on? Well, if I'm 27 now, we'll do the maths. 11, 11 years. years. That's a long time. Tell me, Sean, when you're eating the soaps, do they not upset your stomach or your bowel movements? Sometimes. The odd bubble does come out. Yeah. Okay, perhaps we can touch upon mm. what is the strange, mm. strangest addiction you've ever seen? Mm. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good question as well. All good questions. So eating, it's, it's quite strange, you know. Mm, yeah. Hmm. You knew somebody who ate so. Yeah, yeah. And only soap or...? Well, he progressed to um, urinal cakes after that, you know. Mm, that was quite, um, you know, you know, I didn't... I, it was sexual, mm, but I didn't kind of understand it, you know. No. Um, yeah, you know. Mm. It sounds kind of strange. Have you any addictions you know of personally, yourself? Mm. No. Yeah. Um, 
Uh, no, I, I don't. No, I mean, how many people do you know that eat soap? Well, when we were younger, Sean got me to try to try soap because soap because I'm his little cousin, and that was a really horrible experience for me, and I don't think I can ever get over that. I I was so sick, so sick. My mother was so worried she had to bring me to A and E, and we waited there for hours, and I, I did. I was fine, you know. Oh, but I had this luminous green vomit and it was just a very traumatic experience. And I still What do you hope for Sean for the future? That he's still alive. I hope that he breaks up with his enabler girlfriend who has just made his whole addiction just worsen over the past That's five years. That's his girlfriend. I thought that was his minder. Are you willing to... <laughs> uh, she... <Jeez. laughs> she just... she gives him soap all the time and tells him that it's great for him and oh he smells so good and... He doesn't, he smells horrible. He just eats it. He doesn't shower, he doesn't... What is that going to do to his hand? insides, his throat, his... his stomach? His intestines? We don't know. And if she really loved him, she wouldn't be doing something she wouldn't be that so harms accepted, him. Yeah, she wouldn't. Him. She wouldn't help him harm himself. That's self harm. It's partly the girlfriend's fault, you believe. I, I totally... It's it was it was a little bit of a habit, you know, and then she came along and it's all the time, every day. We can't have him over at the house anymore because he just eats all our soap. He does that to you too? Everything. Oh my God, we I just thought it was just me. have him around. <laughs> I thought it was just me. I had him over on Thursday uh, for lunch and he wanted to go to the toilet. Do you know how many times he went to the toilet? At least five times. I know I because went in he there. just goes in and he just eats the soap. Yes! It's disgusting! I have no soap. I'm, I'm spending fortune on soap. And, and how do you feel about consuming soaps in public? I believe you do this wherever you go. I have absolutely no problem with it at all. And are you not worried about the germs that might exist? That's what I do. Because um, I, I you don't like germs. Don't like them. Don't, 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 don't like germs. Tell me, Sean, have you ever tried to give up eating soap? Why would I do that? And so, do you have a particular brand or a favourite type? Ooh, good question. Good question. Do you know what? I'll show you. Hang on, wait. A box from the new one. Ah. Yeah, that. This one here. Dextra wine. It's got a good taste. Good vintage. It's nice, smooth. Comes to go down the throat very, very easily. Would you like to try it? No, thank you. No, thank you. Fair enough. And it's the middle of the night. You go, you go to the bathroom. You want to go take a shower before you go to bed. And no soap or shampoo. No soap. No. Let's hope he sticks with soap and doesn't move on to anything more dangerous. Sticks with it. Why would you? Why would you want to stick with soap? It's, just, it's gonna kill him. I just want him to be addiction-free and happy and healthy because. Having an addiction is just a sign that you're. Not there's something happy. wrong. There's something wrong. There's, 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 it's it's related to something in his genes or or something with his family or friends or something. You know. It, it, well, it's, it's a not his family. Them. We're all fine. Yeah. Fine. Thank you. Hi guys. Thanks for talking to me today. First of all, how long have you guys been together? Uh, five well, years. Yeah, yeah, five, five years. years. And where did you meet? Uh, well, <laughs> I was uh, an able representative and um, he just opened the door and I went in with my little suitcase full of uh, soaps and he told me, can I smell you? And I said yes. And uh, Beautiful. Yeah. It started that was, from there. That was the beginning of it, yeah. How do you feel about Sean's addiction? Well, it's not too bad. Like, you know, sometimes he asks me to uh, use soap uh, while cooking. 
But uh, yeah, I know his favorite soaps now, like, you know, this one is one of his favorites. Uh, it's a lovely smell, like, I couldn't eat it, but yeah, it's, it's nice. He always smells nice and clean and, you know, it's, it's great. We were a bit worried, so we went to the doctor, but it seems to have no effect in any of his organs so far, so... Uh, <laughs> seems to be clean. Yeah, he's a healthy, yeah, yeah, you're great, thank you. <laughs> Yeah. Have you ever tried? Tell me this, Dr. Lux. Do you think addiction is genetic or is it personal? Yeah, yeah. Uh, everything in life is um, personally addictive, you know. Mm, yeah. But yeah. suppose your parents yeah. took heroin and you were born to a, to, mm. to a, to a junkie mother. You're, that's well, not you personal know, that's addiction. good, isn't it? Because she'd, she'd have a good contact for you to get your drugs. I mean, you're, you know, you're a baby. Like, how is a baby going to walk down the street and ask for drugs, you know? Mm, that's how long did you say you've been working in this field? Um, I, I believe I said 15 years. Mm, yeah. Who are you? You're not Mr. Lux. Um, yeah. What are you? <laughs> Have you ever tried eating soap yourself? And I've tried, yeah, but I don't really like the aftertaste, you know, because when you eat it, like it's not the same that when you smell it, you know, you smell it and you get this lovely scent, but then, no, I, I don't like the aftertaste, no. I can imagine that. Yeah, just, um, but I love it often, like, you know, because it's always like so nice, yeah. Clean. So clean, yeah. No. You mentioned cooking with soap. Yeah, yeah. You cook with soap? Yeah, I do. The, he's got a few... He makes a great soup. Yeah, he likes the, yeah, you like the, the apple one in, yeah, in the apples. soup, yeah, you like apples. that one, yeah. One in your muesli sometimes, yeah, yeah the strawberry one. <laughs> oh, yeah, I haven't yeah. done that one. Yeah, done. I have to get it for you, sweetie, yeah. 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 Has <laughs> anybody accidentally ever eaten your apple soap soup? Uh, no, 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 I don't think so, no, we keep it like what, you know, I mean, when somebody comes to the house, like, I mean, I just... Everything's labeled. Yeah, so we know because, like, you know, maybe some people have an allergy to, you know, some of the ingredients, but then, uh, you know, we're very responsible that way. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Did you hear what she said? No. You're a fucking cousin. No, what she said. Uh, she said, like, it's my fault that you're eating soap now. What? Are you backing her up in this? She's not in the after. Well, you don't. I'm your girlfriend. You know, I come first. I've never heard so what? It's five years together, like, okay. you know, I mean, all those meals that I cook for you and all that shit, like, you know, I hope you say something to her, like, you know, because that's not fucking up. What exactly did she say? She said, like, it's my fault that you eat soap all the time and it was okay. How the fuck do I enable it? Because you bought it! You're a fucking psycho! You're a fucking psycho! You, you eat fucking, like, rollies! You know, I've seen you! Yes. You're fucking mad, so shut up! Yeah. 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 And you're a fucking bitch! Yeah. How the fuck do you say that about me? Yeah. It's the truth! Yeah. What? It's Jesus. the truth! And you don't have to say fucking nothing to her! <laughs> What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do here? You're like, 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 you're like,